collective flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Scene. Today I'm reading for the beautiful and handsome collective. Hey, collective. Hey, flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell to book a private reading with me or to shop in my store. All that information is in the description box below. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, let's see. Right off the bat, I heard defeated, but let's see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lost, defeated. <laughs> they lost. They lost this battle. The karmics lost this battle. Fist bump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, justice. This was a part of my Kipper day. Yeah, yeah, collective, yeah. Yeah, collective, yeah. <laughs> ah, they are defeated. The karmics are defeated. Yeah. Everything's exposed. Everything. Every fucking thing. Everything. And it's causing a huge major of concern because the spotlight is on them. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Changes are here. Massive changes for the better. Please keep in mind that uh, Aquarius is getting ready to station in Pluto for the next 20 years. And that represents nothing but great positive authenticity okay much better from what i was what i picked up yesterday <laughs> all right let's see what else <laughs> they're in despair <laughs> they're going to jail you going to jail now <laughs> They're going to jail. I'm hearing sirens, like within my mind, my mind's eye. I'm hearing sirens. I'm hearing this is a stick up. Uh, I'm hearing get down, get down, get down, put your hands up. That's what I'm hearing. Mm. And this will be recorded, meaning like it's going to be news, uh, news reporters, newscasters. Like I actually see them on TV with their hands like they're in handcuffs their hood over their head completely embarrassed they're very sick they're sick they're physically sick like i've been saying they are physically sick this is music to my ears they were not expecting that they were expecting you to become sick mm, a mature an immature woman here mm, mm, mm. an immature woman is sick to her stomach child all her business out in fucking Mm, front and center. Mm. Who's this one? <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to take these. Mm, mm, mm. This is a song by a Beanie Man and uh, Janet Jackson. It's called Feel It Now. Somebody could be listening to that. So collective there's going to be a lot of animals that are going to be surrounding you or more animals are going to be drawn to your energy okay some of you guys might be afraid of animals and i completely understand okay i don't play with animals either so i get it 
but specifically dogs and cats and birds too okay they're just gonna have like this over fixation of love for you so a lot of strays are going to be coming up to you okay that is a message um when these animals or stray animals come up to you just pay attention to what they look like their behavior patterns and things of that nature and it's deeper it's, it's, it's very symbolic for you okay so example let's say a poodle comes up to you right and the poodle has maybe the poodle is brown instead of instead of white you know the, the fur or the the coat that may be symbolic maybe the poodle may be walking on one of his paws or maybe hurt one of his paws that'll be symbolic so pay attention to the mannerisms and the behavior of the straight animals that are coming towards you they all have some form of a symbolism or some form of a message for you okay <clears throat> Petty deck. All right, all right. Come on, what's up? All right, tell me, spirit, what's up? Yeah, they they are. They're defeated. They're defeated. Mm. Music to my ears. They broke. <laughs> Could be an Aries. I do feel like if it's not an Aries, a low vibrational Aries, I do feel like all of this, like all of this, will be done by Aries season. I completely done in Aries is March and April I believe yes I keep hearing oh you going to jail now <laughs> That's what I keep hearing. they're unemployed mm -hmm. there's no communication no one no one is helping them no one it's like literally why it, it really feels like the Truman Show. I promise you. That's what it feels like. And if you don't know what the Truman Show is, it's a movie that was uh uh Jim Carrey was the star in the movie, and basically there were other people that were watching his every move. It was like his his whole life was played out or planned out, and other people were watching him as he would go through his life, the simulation of his life. <sighs> And everyone is like everyone is glued around to see like the outcome of all this happening here. This candle magic back backfired. They did do spell work over the full moon, and that was the last. Like that was the last. That was it. It was done. It was like okay, this is the big bang, and that's what it. It really sh shook up a lot of elemental, a lot of energies within the ethers here. <clears throat> They even try to connect with your ancestors, okay? <laughs> to try to get information or messages um, from your ancestors about you to how to stop you. And they got met with trickster spirits. <clears throat> All they've been playing with were trickster spirits. These spirits that they thought were on their side, they were not. They were complete trickster spirits and they were dealing with very dark energies. Leviathan spirits. I keep hearing the Baron. The Baron is not a negative energy unless you work with him in that way. He can't become that. Um, Mama Laveau, very, very strong hoodoo, like Haitian spirits, loas, LOAs, things of that nature. And these spirits that they called upon, they were they tricked them. They tricked them bad. It's bad. <laughs> they are defeated. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's the end like i want you to take a i want you to stand up and take a fucking bow collective like it's the fucking end it may not feel like it but i'm telling you it is the end hmm new edition alexa play new edition the end is this the end? I wanna know. I wanna know. Is this the end? Ooh. Is this the end? Yes, it is. <laughs> we got roots 
in reverse, their roots have been completely pulled away from the foundation. There's no more roots. There's no more family tradition. There's no more family. So this family that you grew up with, it's like cancer, metaphorically or physically speaking, cancer has completely eradicated the whole bloodline. Everybody's stuck with the I eat ass face. Mm, mm, mm. Some are going ballistically crazy. You can't hear them sound. It's like they're they're yelling and they're screaming. You can see the actual face, but you can't hear anything coming out because of what they have done. It's like everyone is like deaf to what they've done. Or no, everyone is deaf to the sounds that they're trying to make. So like a help me or a ah, in that kind of way. People are deaf to, <laughs> to the sounds that they're making. I just see these people, these family members here are trying to reach out to people with their hand and people are literally just, they turn their backs on them. Oh, huh. Oh, man. Mm, mm, mm. Sexual deviant. People are speaking about th this family dynamic sexual deviancy. The type of shit that they have done to other people as i mentioned before because now that everything is over you're going to see a lot more people say me too me too me too me too yes that happened to me too yes that happened to me too okay so i'm just a messenger be prepared you're going to have an influx of people coming towards you that has been in the path of those family members that have went through some form of a traumatic experience i'm also hearing <clears throat> that some of you guys may have experienced a miscarriage because of things that they were working on or working with or in the dark here okay now here's my thing <clears throat> they call you weak but they're doing the weak shit behind the scenes so they want to give the illusion that you would never knew or know that they were doing what they were doing to you behind the scenes but yet they're, they're, they, they have created a, a, such a false narrative towards other people or the community that you are weak. Well, how is it that the collective can be weak when they weren't even aware at the time that this was happening? Because I assure you, 100%, I stamped that shit. If you would have known before then what they were doing, you would not have been considered weak or seen as weak. And you're not weak in no way, shape, or form. You're not. But for them to say that you're weak because they wanted to get a, a they wanted to get a level up on you without you knowing or without you participating. So how could you call the collective weak if they weren't even aware of what was going on? If that makes sense. <clears throat> it's a Libra in fucking shambles, a low vibrational Libra. That's in shambles right now, and they, they don't know what to do. They're stuck. They're stuck in their body. They're stuck in their mind. It's like a mental prison. Every waking moment, they're not sleeping at all. Something with the eyes. Somebody's eyes are going. It, it may have went blind, because I've been mentioning that before. There, yeah, there was a Libra here with anger issues that was doing spell work on you, and they went completely blind in their eyes. Not only have they went completely blind in their eyes, they're also there. Something is wrong with their vocals, their throat. They're losing their voice like indefinitely. So there's something wrong with the vocal vocal box or the the the, co the cords. <clears throat> it's been completely destroyed. They can't speak and they can't see. Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. Ain't that something? Ha. Huh. Cha. Mm -hmm. Financial success is in reverse. This whole family dynamic is drinking. That's all they can afford. That's all they can do is drink to kind of subside the bad luck that has been has arrived. Um, there are many cases of molestation that a lot of people are speaking about other people besides yourself from this family dynamic uh i don't know if you guys are aware but again this ain't gonna resonate for everybody for the ones that it do you weren't the only one that experienced some form of a hardship with this family dynamic 
there were other people outside of the family dynamic that have been also molested as well too. And it's brought forth a lot of bad luck to the actual bloodline of this family. Hmm. Ah. Ah. They're untrustworthy. There are people lining up, so I got to keep it real with y'all. I see phones. I see people calling. I see people texting, FaceTiming, or whatever. However, I see Facebook as well. I see Instagram. I see all the social media outlets. And I see people on like three or four or five way calls here uh, talking about what is happening now. Mm. They are completely embarrassed. This family dynamic is completely embarrassed. They're wishing that they can turn back the hands of time. Well, they were warned for at least two years or so. They had more than enough time to get this up together and they choose not to. So, hey, that's on them. Um, <clears throat> their car has been repossessed. Their home is repossessed. And even their life <laughs> is going to be repossessed. This is an unmarked car that's ooh, okay. All right, there's an unmarked car that's following them. Hmm. <sighs> I mean, they did it to you, so frenemies, people that were your friends that made themselves your frenemy, Capricorn here, they are suffering. Suffering is an understatement, they're suffering. They're in the pits of hell. Now, I've, I've read some um, articles in regards to billionaires creating bunkers and stuff like that to save themselves from the rapture. This is just my personal opinion. I don't feel it's a physical rapture. I don't. I feel it's a spiritual rapture. And I feel like the spiritual rapture is taking place within the mind. That's what I feel. And even though they're trying to hide... 10, 15, 20 feet below, they can't hide from what they have done to other people. That's my opinion, okay? And I feel very strongly about that. But I don't feel it's a physical rapture. I truly feel it's a spiritual and mental rapture. So if they want to go ahead and build their bunkers 20, 30, 40, 50 feet below, they can't escape their mind. So you're going to see a lot of millionaires and billionaires prematurely transition while they're in their bunkers. That's what I saw. <clears throat> Could be a Leo Try to rob you of your innocence Try to rob you of your money Try to rob you of just life in general Try to rob you of your freedom Because they thought that they had the, the power Or the key to do that And they did not Hmm 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 mm. work husband and wife so a husband and wife work together to do this here which is your so called mother and father and they are part of a bigger organization here that's crumbling it's massively crumbling all over the world this is a global effect a global effect and can't no one escape the monstrosities that they have been trying to hide for years it's all being pushed in front of everyone to see <clears throat> it's like you cornered a snake a very dangerous snake but this snake don't have the ability to fight back or to snipe back or to bite back they lost all their abilities all the muscles are weak within this snake and you can literally just subdue the snake with just picking it up in that way the venom doesn't work anymore their teeth, their bites, it doesn't work anymore. <clears throat> and it's causing this individual or this group of people to lose complete self-control of the mind. As I mentioned before, if you lose your mind, you lose everything else. Your mind is like a supercomputer. You got to be very careful as to what you are computing or what you're registering in your mind. And a lot of these people are going fucking crazy. You're going to see in real life time like, oh shit, wow, look at them. You may see people sprung out on drugs. You may see people, I heard K2. You may see people literally stripping their clothes. It's, it's, it's gonna be a wild ass fucking scene. It's gonna be wild as fuck. Mm. 
unable to express emotions. They're weak. They are so weak energetic wise. They don't look the same. They look like a skeleton. So I'm getting two sides. They look like a skeleton, like Skeletor, or they gain so much weight that they're unrecognizable. But I want to lean more to the skeleton side because they're losing a lot of weight. They're not eating, they're not sleeping. Heavy bags under their eyes because of the guilt. Well, you were warned. You were warned for two years not to do this bullshit. Stop it. You had an opportunity, enough opportunity to change it. You decided not to? Okay, well. I mean, you should. <laughs> You ain't got nothing for you. Yeah, illegal activity. There's a lot of big players involved. Not only the feds. What up, feds? Hey, feds. What up, feds? Not only the feds. The DEA. Um, ICE is involved. There's a lot of big alphabet niggas that's involved in this. That's on the up and up. That's on the positive you know, side of things. And they're coming in and they're shutting all of this shit down. Huh. I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> Money is coming to you. So if you have to go to court or if you're being summoned to come to court, I want to make this clear. Your safety is safe. That's that's the number one thing because I keep hearing if I go to court, will I be like on a chopping block or will there be a target on my back? No, you're going to be completely safe. So if you feel comfortable going to court and standing up and speaking up in regards to the things, the injustices that you went through, you're going to be completely safe. Not only are you going to be com completely safe, they have to pay you out. They have to. And there's going to be a lot of people within the judicial system that are also going to be prematurely transitioning themselves out as well, too. This runs deep. This runs deep <laughs> that a lot of people can't see but will be shown. Again, we're coming up in Pluto. Aquarius is getting ready to station in, a, in Pluto. It's going to retrograde first. And then it's going to station permanently for 20 plus years. If you don't have authenticity, if you don't have positive authenticity, nobody not going to hear what the fuck you got to say. We don't give a fuck about what you're saying. And if you, if you have to lie to try to get ahead, you will be devoured. Not only by the collective, you'll be devoured by the spirits, by the divine. So if you're not coming correct, just don't come to fuck at all. And I, and I really highly advise. This is a warning, yes. For the karmics who may still think that they still have a chance. Listen, do you, boo. Do what you gotta do. But I want to make this very clear. That if you're not coming from a space with love in your heart, you will be devoured by the collective and by the divine. So you do you, boo. Do what you gotta do, karmic. Somebody's developed schizophrenia this family because of the witchcraft or I really don't like this word witchcraft and here's the reason why because people look at witchcraft as negative in this instance here yes it is negative for this instance here but when I see this word witchcraft it's a witch's craft they're good witches they're great witches but a lot of people only look at the negative aspect of a witch's craft and think it's demonic and stuff like that. Absolutely, if it's on the negative side, of, of course, I agree with you. But what about the great ones that are doing great for themselves and for humanity? So this card here, yeah, I understand witchcraft. It's the craft of a witch. But anywho, in this instance here, they've been doing it negatively witchcraft family illegal activity is to the point where they've lost their their ability to speak they lost their will to continue forward they lost their will to live life this family is on watch by other people there are other people i have to say it there are other people that want to hurt these individuals i'm just being honest with you because of what they have done to other people a lot of people have stayed quiet because they were afraid of this so-called family. 
and I don't see what the fuck for. Why would you be afraid of someone that's doing dirt behind the scenes? They fucking doing it. Why the fuck are you afraid of them? Clearly, they doing it behind the scenes because they don't want people to see that they're doing it. But yet, you knew that they were doing it. Whoever this message is for, do not live in fear, boo. If you know that you're not out here causing hurt or harm to yourself or others, there is no reason why you should be living in fear. None. And also, I want to make another disclaimer as well, too, that all is welcome here. I don't care what background you're from. All I ask, the only thing I'm going to judge you on, yes, is your heart space. Do you have love in your heart? Do you offer unconditional love or conditional love? And if all you have to offer is conditional love, I don't want you in my space. I don't care who you are. But if you have nothing but love in your heart unconditionally, you're welcome over here. No longer controlling anything. They can't control anything. They slept with your friends. This family dynamic slept with your friends to get closer to you. They slept with your, your loved ones, your, your significant others, your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, and even friends as well too because they wanted these so-called people to look at them as they were superior to you and that failed miserably. Not only that, the people that they got, they had underneath their spell or whatever you want to call it, they're going through a lot as well too. Mm. People are dying all around them and it's freaking them the fuck out. We told you not to do it. So, told you not to do it. <laughs> so you can't be mad, but no, you can't be mad at no one but yourself because we said not to do this shit. Liar. Someone's going down for domestic violence. They also have an STD. So whoever is very violent domestically, they're going to meet their match as well too. I ain't going to tell you the ending of it, but let's just, you, you, if you could pick sense out of nonsense, this should say they're going to end well, okay? Yeah, drug use. So there's someone that either sells drugs or uses drugs, and that's going to be their demise. If they're using, they're using, so they're selling drugs, but they're getting high off their own supply. And the person that they're purchasing the supply or whatever, however the shit works, I don't know about no drug shit, but however it works, um, they're not pleased by that and they will be dealt with accordingly. Huh. huh. Man, Gemini. It could be a Gemini, it could be happening in Gemini season, or this person may just have a split personality where they don't like to be fucked over business wise. You're going to get a lot of confirmation that people are just passing away. Oh, you heard such and such? You'll be like, oh, shit. Did you hear such and such? Oh, shit. Did you hear? Oh, shit. Like that. They're going to be dropping like flies. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> this is what they manifested. They manifested their death. They manifested their premature transition. That's so much hate that they have in their heart for themselves. Sad. Yeah, they stuck. Huh. Fake empress, they stuck. What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? Uh, you gonna sit there and you gonna ride that fucking karma till the wheels fall off? That's what you're gonna do. You're going to sit and you're going to hold on to the ride of karma and you are going to be plummeted in the streets of being desolate metaphorically and physically you will experience very much hardships for the rest of your life karmic not even your life your generation will experience it many generations there's no coming back and once they prematurely exit this world this earth they can't fucking come back they cannot come back so they can't reproduce their last day will no longer be a thing. It's done. Congratulations, Karnik. You played yourself. Hmm. They burnt out. I bet you are. Please help me. Ah, uh, that'd be a negative. Cold hearted. They going to jail. Hmm. 
I can't go to jail. Yes, the fuck you can. And you will panic. They suffering in silence. Honey, yeah. Honey, yeah. Climb the line. That's going to be them dusties. Climb the line. Uh huh. If you had love in your heart, your stupid ass would be in this position that you're currently in. But because you have so much hate and envy and jealous in your heart, that's exactly what the universe dropped in front of you. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Hitting agenda, hiding something is in reverse. They no longer, their hidden agenda is no longer hidden. Everyone sees complete big ass narcissists. And that's the thing with narcissists. Most people say, Oh, what a narcissist. You got to stay away from them. Don't say nothing to them. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. But a narcissist can't stop you from speaking up and out. I don't give a, I don't give a fuck how big of a narcissist they are. They could be the biggest narcissist that you've ever experienced. They could be the big Pumba, the grand Pumba of narcissists. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. A narcissist cannot stop you from speaking out. They live, they thrive in your fear. But because you have the light, why would you be afraid of the dark? If that makes sense? If you are holding the light within yourself, if the key to the light is within you or found within you, why would you succumb to fear? Why would you drive yourself to live in fear? Why would you want to be submerged in fear, in darkness? Because that's what fear is. Fear is a form of a darkness that you can't, you may not be able to see, but you can feel. And they wanted to create this big cloud of fear over you because that was the only way that they can subdue you. You are the light. Turn that motherfucker on and see what's going on in front of you. Again, you are the light. You hold the key. They fucking don't. They coming up against you so strong because they know you have the light. And they want to extinguish your light by putting you, constantly putting you in fear. No more. Stand up. All you got to do is stand up and flip this motherfucker. That's all you got to do. Learn how to sit in your energy. Learn how to sit in your light. Stop extinguishing your light for other people's validation. Oh, well, they said, I don't give a fuck what they said. What do you say? That's the only thing that matters. What do you say, collective? People say all shit, all type of shit about me all the time. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I know who I am. I stand very firm and I stamp who I am. I'm not living in no fucking fear. I didn't create fear, so I'm not going to live in it. And people want to project this fear onto you because that's what the state they're in. Get that bullshit back to them, boo. Stand up and turn on your fucking light. It's time. Secrets, all secrets have been exposed. And they feel very boggled down or tied down because now everything is out in the open. They were jealous of you. People see that. <laughs> they were jealous of your abundance, your light. Remember, when you turn on the light, right, and it's completely sub submerged in darkness. Let's say you walk into a room. And the room is completely dark to the point where you have to feel or search for the light switch. And as soon as you turn on the light, they see you in abundant form. They were jealous of your abundance, your light. Dangerous is in reverse. They're not dangerous. Or we could say maybe they're dangerous to themselves. Because they want to self-harm themselves. They can't deal with this. They want to leave this earth. They want to prematurely leave this earth. Because I keep hearing, I can't take this anymore. Then I hear bodies just dropping. People literally self-transitioning themselves because of the guilt. Hmm. So they can create it, but they can't sit in it. <laughs> mm. Okay, well. Emotionally exhausted, <laughs> stressed out, they're very heartbroken by this. You're defeated. They are defeated. 
Mm. It's going to be a lot of changes, especially within the court system. A lot of changes. Those dirty judges and lawyers that were throwing cases and lying, putting innocent people in jail, they'll be thrown off the bench. You know what? Let me hush. Fears. Mm. They abused their power. And because they abused their power, now the universe is abusing them and they don't fucking like it. They can't take it. Imagine a, a, a fucking mm, invisible force, an invisible energy, an invisible entity fucking your ass up. And there's nothing that you can fucking do. You can feel the wrath, but there's nothing that you can do. Mm, well, they were warned. They were fucking warned. They paid judges and lawyers to throw your case. They also will be going through some very strong and harsh detrimental karma. They depressed. They've been doing this for years. 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 That's the kar uh, karmic. So it's a karmic marriage here. Or a married couple that's doing this shit. That knows uh, people within the judicial system. Paying people um, to keep you subdued in a certain way. And it all has backfired. Mm. It all has backfired. I'm hearing, let me go. Please let me go. <laughs> Please let me go from this. <laughs> Finish line is in reverse. Their karma is just beginning. And it's just constant, daily, daily dish destruction. Mm. They, can't, they can't determine what's real and what's not. I'm also seeing that somebody rocking back and forth. They're scared to stay by themselves in a room or a home. I see someone's eyes bulging out in fear. Just the sight of or the, the, the hearing or the sense of hearing of police lights or sirens. It really, yeah, it really fucks with their mind. <sighs> yeah, secret. That's the secret. They don't want you to know that they're suffering immensely. But you know, you're aware. <laughs> <clears throat> so we have children here with the message of guidance. You'll be reunited with your child. And Spirit wants me to make that very clear, loud and clear. That you will be reunited with your child or your children. Hmm. 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 And they're going to be learning everything that has happened. You don't have to bash the people that they were with. You ain't got to bash them. You ain't got to do nothing. These, this, this child or children is very smart, very intelligent, where they can pick sense out of nonsense. And they're going to see. They're going to know what's up. You don't have to. They're going to be like dad or mom or however, whatever. Okay? They're going to come to you and they're going to tell you, oh, yeah, we knew. We knew. Yeah. They knew. They know. Physical pain is in reverse. <laughs> Burden of tears is in reverse. Yeah, communication. Shit. <laughs> Communic communication. This is great. No anger. Message of freedom. Message of love. <laughs> Spiritual message. Y'all gonna be okay. Y'all gonna be more than okay. Mm. This calls for a celebration. I want some red velvet. Mm -hmm. No fears. Mm -hmm. If you're away from your child, your child has been um been doing like prayers and stuff like that. So if you taught your child how to pray, they've been praying. Their prayers are pretty strong. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, friendship. If prayer is, I'll say friendship, connection to the divine, your child has a very special connection to the divine. Whether I'm talking about a single child or multiple, take it how it resonates, but they have a special divine connection to the divine that they were trying to break. They were trying to break their spirits. And when this child or children come back to you, they're going to thrive. They're going to flourish like no one's business. It's like it never even happened in that kind of way. Mm. I'm telling you, reciprocity. Mm. Yeah, no funeral. Okay, so if you're away from your child and your child is still living, they're going to be reunited with you. Mm-hmm. They're healthy. So if you were concerned about their health, they're healthy. Okay. Were they going to regain their health? Could be a Leo. A Leo child. Or they're just very confident. Love. You have a lot of love for them. They have a lot of love for you. <laughs> Take a high resonance. There's a song by Jermaine Jackson. I don't know. A lot of people be sleeping on Jermaine Jackson. I love him though. But uh, I love all the Jacksons. I just think they're just uniquely unique in their own special way. I like Latoya. I like all of them. Many of them. There's a song by Jermaine Jackson called Paradise. Paradise. Is in your eye. Girl, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Oh, paradise. Oh, in your eyes. Girl, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, yeah. Spider, it's done. It's like no more stuck. Anything. You on top. You on top collective, yeah, collective, yeah, yeah. Through and through. Oh man, I'm so fucking happy for you. I'm so fucking happy for you. I'm so I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be moving, okay? Could be to a new city. Somewhere that's warm or warmer. Or maybe you wanting to move to a, a newer area or a specific location where it's much warmer. It could be year-round warm. So it could be like the tropics. It could be down south. It could be um, overseas. However, take it how it resonates, okay? Um... But you're going to be moving to much warmer climates. Oh, spirit. And you're going to have the means to do it. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Can I get a window seat? I don't want nobody next to me. That's Erica Badu. Hmm. Yeah, everything is going to be corrected. Like spirit has answered all of the prayers and all of the requests and the affirmations and the mantras that you have put out to the universe has been answered and it will be corrected. <clears throat> we have pretty soon. Yeah, very soon. Somebody likes to shop at five and below. Somebody loves to show rocket power. Somebody loves snacks. They prefer snacks over like actual food. Someone loves to eat snacks like junk. Just be mindful of that, okay? <clears throat> I'm also hearing caloric def deficit. So someone could be in a caloric deficit trying to lose weight. So that could be another thing. But I'm also hearing snacks. Somebody loves to snacks. Snack in between time. 
you could be from India or you could be Indian or you may have Indian in your your you know your background your bloodline here pay attention to birds the form of birds is going to be a lot of birds so you may see either a vulture or a turkey and it's going to be odd like it's going to be in a place that you would not expect either a crow or a turkey to be you feel like what the hell in that kind of way you may take a picture of it you may also see a black swan those are actually they're real those are real you may actually see a black swan okay so that is your strong confirmation um, it don't have to be in like physical form. It could be like you watching TV, you're reading a book, someone mentioned it, but you're going to get strong confirmation in regards to this black swan. Okay. <clears throat> like you made a list of things that you want to manifest and it's coming. It's here. You may be buying land. Okay. I'm not going to go too deep into that. <clears throat> yeah you have a brother that is going through some heavy karma as well all right they're going through a lot of heat for going against you oh well they're a part of that ring that is going down mm, well like i keep saying friends will carry you but they'll never bring you back hmm They took things, they took things from you, yeah, as well. That's for certain. They want to put you in a box, so they work with the family dynamic here um, to stop you from moving forward. And they, a lot of uh, adverse things are going to be happening to them as well, too. They may leave, lose their residence. They may get into a really bad car accident that can paralyze them. They may have to bury a child. Ugh. Oh, man. Uh, I don't like that. That I don't like. Um, oh, man. Uh, why would they come out like that? Oh, man. They may have to bury a child. If you have a brother... And your brother has a child. This child is sick. And they can't figure out what's going on with this child's sickness here. Oh, my God, spirit. Oh. want to be devastated Damn. but this brother like figure is a is a false person in their poverty Damn. I heard it's inevitable. Damn. <sighs> Ten of Wands. Three of Swords. They're going to be heartbroken by this child person. <sighs> it's just ignorance. Pure ignorance. They're going to be in complete sorrow, bro. Cause that energy returned back to them and it hit their bloodline. I, uh, I don't think people understand the severity of this. When I say spirit is coming and collecting everyone, oh man, and this child wasn't protected. Oh my god. Oh my god. They lost their protection when. Oh, this is so sad. I got to give the message. 
they lost their protection when you know the parent did all this here that's sad that's sad damn yeah it's extreme it could be a car accident oh my I don't know. I don't. I, I don't want to. They're not gonna come back from that death. I don't know if you heard that sound in the back. It was like ah ah. So was somebody dropping by. But that's how they're gonna feel like in pain, like agony that they. Told you not to play with this fucking spell work, bruh. So fucking ignorant. I can't stand ignorant people. I truly can't. Can't stand ignorant people. <sighs> they ain't never gonna pick up a candle again. Never. <sighs> never. That's. Mm. And this is extended family, like siblings, people that you grew up with. If they have children, I'm sorry. I'm just the messenger. I don't want anything to happen to kids. I'm sorry I don't, but I have to give the message. I got to give the message. You did too much. Like Spirit is saying, we don't want them here. We don't want your kind here. That's a very damn. Damn. You've caused so much turmoil and chaos. Enough is enough. That's what I'm hearing. Enough is enough. Hmm. Sad. A bad idea that may... A bad idea that may not prosper. Certain things not coming into fruition. Lazy plan results in unpleasant outcomes. They're going to need help from others. Broken relationships. Narrow-mindedness, guilt, lies, deception, disagreements, broken relationship, misguided, disappointment, and anxiety, brewing, jealousy, bad relationship with others. You weren't against these people. You were for them at one point in time. And they looked at that as a threat. So they recruited their child or children to take the how it resonates again. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Learn to just take what resonates and leave the rest. If it don't resonate, that's cool. You don't have to say, oh, if it don't resonate, it don't fucking resonate. Why do you got to put yourself out there for like attention? I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like attention seekers. I don't. I truly don't. I don't. It's a pet peeve of mine. Huge. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. That's all you need to do. Everything not going to resonate with you. So if you had a sibling that you grew up with and they have a child, then I'm speaking to you. If you did not grow up with a sibling, I'm not speaking to you. It's truly that simple. It really is. It's truly that simple. For the ones that grew up with siblings... And those siblings have kids or children or a child. The child's not safe. I have to say it. They're not spiritually safe. They have no protection. Because they were coming for your child or children. They were. They were coming for yours. They were. And your child or children is safe under the divine. Whoever I'm speaking to. Collective wise.
mortality protection focus peace ideas align speed determination growth and mindset yes crazy they try to sacrifice your child that's some crazy shit man all right, we have misfortunes, embarrassment, shame, difficulty getting rid of hurtful people, sadness in life, death, missing someone because of the negative influence and the corruption, evil intense, poor behavior, the decision that they decided to make. And while they're going through what they're going through here, you, collective, turning points, new beginnings, wish fulfillment, dreams manifest, happy endings, good fortune, rebirth. Hard times are coming to an end. Um, feeling lost about life, no direction. Okay, so this is you, collective. Rainbow. You're going to see the end of the rainbow, and this is them. They're going through this. Now, for some of you guys that have lost kids, first off, my condolences to the collective. And then secondly, what I'm hearing, for some of you guys, you may have another baby if you're in your child rearing or bearing stage. You're going to have another child in that same spirit. Just hear me out. The child that you have lost or the child that has transitioned based on what these people were doing, that child is going to reincarnate back into the child that you give birth to. So it's going to be like a 2.0. Okay? I'm also hearing like when this child is born. So... The child that may have passed away, like the name, a part of their name is going to be a part of this new child's name. And they're going to carry a lot of their mannerisms and their behavior and things like that. Okay? It's like this the spirit wants to reincarnate. They want to give you a second chance. Okay? Now, for the ones that are not in the childbearing stage, there's going to be a child that you may adopt. Okay? That's spirit that's all divinely orchestrated for you okay you may receive or you may become an adopted parent of this child adolescence teen however take it how it resonates is this a spirit's way of trying to come towards you to say here i want to give you another like opportunity for chance or so i'm just the messenger okay good news and pleasant surprises yeah new love waiting to settle down on the right track towards the dreams here yeah and while you're moving forward they're trapped in prison they failed hardships misfortune it's over it's over unable to avoid harmful events wrong path focus on unnecessary things severe illness is bad for them long-term sickness extended profound change and courage needed time to process your grief naturally that's the karmic it's over they're defeated that whole family root is completely destroyed it's been ripped from the root from the core from the foundation and nothing can be planted there ever again nothing every last one of them will perish every last one of them will perish sad somebody listening to music soul child i'm hearing one four three that's by music soul child so that's love one four three equals love you were very shady there is a spot out in is extended out in PA, but it's called Shady Maples. So maybe you live near there. Shady Maples. It's a smorgasbord of like food. It's a restaurant, but it's called Shady Maples. <laughs> All right, they were acting really shady. Someone named Rashad could be Rashad. <laughs> they had the opportunity to fix it, but they decided not to. Someone's name could be Chad.
Someone's from Prague. P R A G U E. If your last name could be Haddish. You could be watching Tiffany Haddish. I'm hearing PYT. Uh, you could listen to Michael Jackson. Somebody's going to get into a HUD subsidized home. If you've been on the list, the waiting list, you're going to get through. Someone loves to wear Gucci. And please don't come over here with, oh, you shouldn't wear Gucci. Let people do what they want to do. As long as you're not hurting nobody and you're not causing harm to self or others, let people do what they need to do. But somebody loves to wear Gucci, okay? Somebody's from Virginia. Somebody's from Brooklyn. What up, Brooklyn? BK. You may have owned a pair of British Knights when you were younger. Somebody's watching the old TV show Ghost Rider that was on PBS from the 90s. Somebody loves YSL. Someone's ducts are, are clogged, so it could be like your um, D-U-C-T-S, your ducts. It could be your, uh, what do you call that? Like when the rain comes down the pipe. You may have like um, leaves and dirt inside of it, so you have to like clean that out. Someone's going to Yellowstone Park or National Park, Geyser or something like that, or you may love a lot of outdoor activities or mountain activities. Someone loves Keurig or loves to make like tea or coffee. Your L LED light may conk out, so you may have to replace it. Someone named Sylvester. Somebody's from bed -Stuy. What up, bed -Stuy? What up, boo? It's somebody from the style. What's up? Um, someone's having um cream cheese. <laughs> Someone love Yeezys. They may feel comfortable. You got Pisces, Four Files, Mars. We got Pluto, Virgo, 12th house. We got third house, Venus, Scorpio. All right, so Cancer, you could be, they could be Cancer again, Scorpio, Leo, Sag. Scorpio, let's do four more. Taurus, Pisces, Aries, Cancer. I really do feel this Cancer is the Cancer moon. That's what I feel. But if that resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time.